Uh, now it's now it's time for one how-to video. Since we have done so many boat trips, no. Hello. No. Swins. 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 Since we have done so many, why it's so hard? Hello guys, it's Yasmin from Boat Around again. Since we have done many boat reviews lately, now it's time for one how-to video. So stay with us. We decided to make a video about mooring the boat. And since we are doing catamaran review, we decided to use that boat and show you how to moor the boat in the marina. There are many different ways to moor the boat in different parts of the world. That's important to notice. But we are focusing on how the most Mediterraneans are doing it, since we are on the Mediterranean, and most common system is turn two mooring, also known as med mooring. Before entering the marina, it's crucial to make preparation of the boat and your crew especially in the situations when you are mooring in a non-familiar place. Fenders have a purpose to protect your boat from crashing into another boat. So place them alongside using the club hitch knot on the right position, keeping in mind also the height. Since we are doing stern 2 mooring, we need fenders from the stern forward up till passing mast. The bow will stand out, so there is no need to put any fenders there. Place one big fender at the transom. Just in case, if something goes wrong, the boat will lean on that fender and it will not hit the pier. Since we are on catamaran, we need two of them. Let's prepare the lines now. So we need stern lines to attach it to the pier and on the bow we will attach mooring lines. So it's important to have clean cleats from any other ropes. Attach one side of the stern line to a stern cleat. Now it's important to check the line if it's clear from any unwanted knots. So when we will be throwing the line to a harbor master, it will go smooth. Make sure that the working area for this maneuver is free from other things or crew members who are not participating in the process. You don't want to stuck on something in the most critical moment. Evaluate the situation. The most important fact that will have the impact on your boat and your performance is the wind. So it's very important to know the direction and the strength of the wind, so you can adjust the power of the engines. Having the wind from behind is the most easiest way, because it pushes you away from the pier. The wind from the bow is already a bit more complex, because it carries you right to the pier, but with engines you can keep the boat. Side wind is the most complex and requires good assessment and performance of the helmsman, because it pushes the boat sideways to the other boat and their mooring lines. When you determine the wind effect, note your crew members who will be helping you and let them know what is the plan and what you expect from them to do when you tell them. Before entering the marina, contact marina staff using VHF and let them know your intentions. They will guide you and assist you in this maneuver. The boat and your crew is ready for the maneuver and marina staff is expecting your arrival so you can proceed to go inside. When you come to the birthplace that marina staff pointed you, turn the stern into the wind. It's always easier to control the stern part of the boat because there you have the propellers. Start to reverse towards your place and adjust the boat speed according to the wind. If there is more wind, you need more engine power. With less wind, it's easier. If you have back wind, then it's easy. Throw both stern lines first and after that grab mooring line. With wind from the bow, repeat again stern lines and after they are tied, put the throttle in forward, adjusting the power. When you have side wind on catamaran, throw again windward stern line and when it's fixed, put leeward engine throttle forward and keep the boat in position by adjusting the power. When windward mooring line is tightened, you can put in neutral and solve the leeward side. Keep in mind that the stress is not your friend in this situation, so try to control it. Shouting, yelling and screaming will not help as well. 
your crew members will get confused and you don't want to attract the attention of half of the marina. If you are not sure in your maneuver, go out once again and repeat the procedure. It will help. Practice makes perfect. We are safely moved back in the marina. Now it's time for some drinks, in our case water, and relax. We hope you will find this video useful and applicable on your next sailing adventures. Thank you for watching and doviđenja.